So one of my old childhood heroes, Arnold Schwarzenegger, said that he wanted to play a musical composer. Who do you say he wanted to be? I'll be Bach. Don't be ridiculous. Hey, toy fans. So we're here with uh, another review. Hopefully you enjoyed all the Jurassic June stuff. Um, today we've got, uh, what do we have? I know I got E-Man with me and he's got some some uh, toys that he wants to share with us. What, what do you, what'd you pick? So they're different movies. I got two. So, uh, so these are my dress. I mean, my uh, Predators. So he, he picked these out. Now these are, they're called military. They're actually from uh, Dollar Tree. And he picked this one out because it looked like Dutch from the uh, Predator. Or I should just say Predator now that there's the Predator movie. Yeah, it looks a little bit like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger's Dutch. So that's why he picked him. That's a cool one. And this looks like Hudson from... Hudson from Aliens. Very cool. So we got some, some Dark Horse crossovers. Which I'm always okay with. And what else do we get? Terminator. Oh, uh, cool. A, a military style Terminator. Cool. Check out those shades. So that's why you got those shades, huh? Well, these are cool. And, you know, each one comes with, uh, it looks like a, a vehicle or some, some accessories in there. So, you know, I figure we'll, we'll check them out. And coming in at a dollar, you know, I've been eyeballing these for a while. But, you know, ran out of room. And then he actually, he wanted something. And I was like, you know what? Let's check them out and let's reveal them. So that way you all can know what they're like. Uh, before we get in that review, if you have not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Reach down there. Click that bell notification so you have all updates coming from me to you so you know what's going on. All right, what do you say? Let's do it. Let's get into it. These military action figure lines, they are actually, they are manufactured by Greenbrier International, which is the same group who did the Final Faction toys. Now with these three action figures that we have here, we get one that has a boat and these characters do change. So you might have one with a boat that has this guy that looks more like Hudson in it. You might have one with a boat that has this guy that looks like Dutch from the Predator. You might have a bike that has the Terminator looking guy. They're kind of packaged, you know, where it's not exactly the same thing each and every time. And it also kind of goes the same thing with the weapon. Like this one's got kind of an AK-47. AK-47, this one has more of what looks like a, an M16 to it. So it, it offers a lot of options, which we like. Now, we'll take a look at this one right here. Okay, so this is the one that comes with the boat. And it's cool because it's got, you know, working parts in there. You get a whole boat, action figure, and a gun. And you get this nice kind of military heading up here, military action figure. Uh, it is suggested five up, and probably because of the small parts that are in there. And you get kind of this kind of generalized card here that shows, you know, some action pose of a guy back here. It looks like maybe like dog tags, a helicopter. So it's a pretty generic card. Go to the back and we get that military, that same military logo in the back, military action figures, a barcode and where it's imported from. And then that's it. There's nothing else about this card that's going to show us anything else that's unique. It's interesting because these are actually not peckable items. These items this time actually come where instead of hanging on a peg, much like we got with our Final Faction toys, these actually sit in a PDQ or box on the shelf. And you'll find these like as you go into the action figure aisle, they're kind of towards the bottom of the shelf in like a little box. Now they do have some, I believe that are peggable cards that have a figure and then uh, weapon accessories with them. But these are the figures with the vehicles or landscape pieces and not the cardable figures. So that's something to keep in mind. Now each card is the absolute same and there's nothing that's gonna you know, uh, signify anything different except for the shape of the bubble. And again, we can obviously see the difference between there. So there's nothing saying that these are specific characters, anything. So card art is not gonna tell us anything else about this. We need to get it out and see what's inside. And then the figures outside of the package look a lot like this. Now, one thing that, that I had noticed is that they only have five points of articulation, that's it. And we'll take the, the Hudson looking guy here and take a look at them. Got a swivel head, swivel arms, 
and swivel hips. And this is reminiscent of, you know, kind of the basic figures that we got with the original launch of the Kenner three and three quarter inch figures or the adventure people from back in the day. Now, each one of these figures actually comes with some parts. So this one was packaged with the sandbags and the barbed wire. The barbed wire doesn't stand necessarily the best on its own, but if you've got it to where it kind of works in uh, junction with the sandbags, you can get a really nice setup. And I dig, I kind of dig having this because then you can take your guy, you can set them behind if they have a radio or something, they could be radioing for help, you know, suppressing fire. And of course he's out of all of them, he's got to think the, the best looking and the most crazy looking military gun there is. So I really dig him. Uh, this one, the one that looks like Dutch, He's got this nice bandolier, and I will say the sculpting on these are are pretty good. Um, they've got some really nice detail work in there. And for customizers, you can unscrew that back and take these apart and color them and do whatever you want, maybe even cast parts off of them. So they are customizable. Now with this one, he's got that kind of AK-47, and he does come with this motorbike. Now the motorbike, the handlebars don't turn the wheels, so that's something to keep in mind. There is a kickstand down here, so you can kick it forward and back, and the wheels are free moving, but that's it. He doesn't exactly fit on the motorcycle the best, but you can use the motorcycle for sure as background scenery, or if you have the Ultra Core figures, they might actually fit on there very well. And then lastly, we've got our Terminator guy with the boat. Now the Terminator guy, look at that snarl. That's a mean dude. And he, of course he has radio and a tactical vest. He is all decked out. I like the look of this guy a lot. <laughs> now with him, he comes with this boat. Now what's cool about the boat is the boat has like a simulated motor on the back. So it's got kind of a motor. Then it's got these oars and the oars actually turn. So if you wanted to do the oars thing, and then you've got kind of a, looks like an infrared lamp or signaling lamp up the front, like a light, which is pretty cool. The figure does sit in, but something you had to keep in mind, kind of had to put them in and just kind of like force them in and then move him upwards as the legs are in to kind of push against the sides because each one of these, the way that their legs are set, they're set kind of at a V. So as they sit, their legs bow out. As they go down, their legs are still kind of bowed out, but they tend to bow out more as their legs are up. So that's something to keep in mind with these guys and their boat. Now, all in all, I think that these are a lot of fun. And keep in mind, each one of the figures themselves, with the accessory, is only a dollar. So what we're getting here is actually some pretty decent paint application, something that I didn't really talk about too much. They're cast in greens and, and peach colors, and of course, you know, kind of a green tactical vest, but it has brushing over the top to accentuate different features of the tooling itself. There's an actual patterned camo that's made of two colors of a green and a lime green that's actually checkered onto the fronts of the arms and the legs, which is really nice. Then of course, eyes and helmets and that sort of thing are all painted up, including gloves. So there's a lot of paint app on these for what we're getting for a dollar. Greenbrier has really been knocking it out with these action figures. And they don't feel too cheap. They, they don't feel like they're about to break in my hand. They actually have a, a bit of heft to them, almost like the plastic that we got with Final Faction that feels heavy enough for you know, young boy play. I'm not expecting to see these in the trash within an hour, like the toys that we grew up with that we got from like gas stations. I think they're a fine addition and I would be willing to find other ones of these sets out there in the world to see if they even have maybe some different vehicles and stuff that, you know, we could play military with. So that that's those military action figures from the Dollar Tree. And I have to admit, um, I'm quite impressed. They they feel sturdy. They you know they're customizable. Uh, they're pretty cool. This one I think is my favorite so far. I like the the helmet and the kind of heft to him. He reminds me of a character from the Battle of Los Angeles with Aaron Eckhart, and I just recently watched that and I I dug it. Um, I dig the boat. I haven't you know honestly I haven't checked to see if it floats. I don't think that it does, but it does sit well on a tabletop. So. 
How did you feel about these? You know, things that I like. I like, you know, I like the simple articulation on this. I like the paint app. I love the, the two-tone uh, camouflage that they have. I, I really, think it's really cool. I really like his head. Yeah. The head sculpts, yeah. I think they look really good. In comparison to the... In comparison to the Final Faction, so this was a Final Faction figurine, and this is our military figurine. And guess what, guys? They are the same size, and both have the same screw holes. So you could, in theory, customizers, if you're into Final Faction, which I know some of you are on the Final Faction uh, page on Facebook, where you're customizing these, you can also add in parts from this. So... That's pretty awesome. And their weapons are also vice versa. You can switch them out. So for those that are getting Final Faction, these can go with them too. How awesome is that? So cool. Yeah. So what, so other things that you like about this? I like that they made the speaker right here. It's really little. Oh yeah. That's, yeah, that little like lights, uh, Sonic thing. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty decent set and honestly I like this fence. Yeah, the the fence is really cool too and I like the sandbags. In all honesty, uh because I do have the Final Faction toys, I'm actually thinking about for myself getting a set of these to put with the Final Faction figures because they they seem to fit the part and I I dig that. Um same simple concept. They're really nice to have. Now, ready? Let's talk cost on this. So cost wise, we got each one of these. How much did we spend on each one of these action figures? $3. So three dollars total for all three, which breaks it down to each figure being how much? $3. Each figure is three dollars? No, we spent three dollars total. So each figure is one dollar. One dollar, that's right. So each one of these figures is a dollar from the Dollar Tree, which makes it very affordable. For what we're getting for a dollar, I'm personally, I'm going to go $1 sign because I think that this is cost, cost affordable. I think that this is a really cool thing to have and it fits our budget and it fits a lot of kids budget, doesn't it? So $1 sign for these, uh, pretty good to have. Now rating stars. Here's your favorite part. You ready? Out of five stars. Now, five stars being the absolute best, one star being not so good. How many stars would you give this? Hmm. Probably five. So you're going to go five stars? You know what? I'm going to go five stars as well. Much like, um, much like the Final Faction toys, you know, what we're getting here, I think it's good. Would you suggest this to other kids to get? You would? You think that was worth the three dollars? Yeah, because these are yours. Here you go. Here's your Hudson. Thank you. You excited? Want to give me a high five? What? what? All right. Now. <laughs> now here we go. Uh, oh, it's gonna be right here today. Preview. So preview. Okay. Okay. Dig it. All right. If you know what that is, go ahead and comment down in the comment box. Um, if you haven't subscribed at this point, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification for me. Um, the more activity I get from you, the more I can let YouTube know that you're liking what I'm doing and I can bring you more content down the road, okay? Now remember, they're not dolls, are they? They are predator toys. <laughs> they're predator toys? <laughs> are they action figures at all? Should we call them dollies? <laughs> this episode of Tay Ray Gun was sponsored by Marvin Dog Media. To learn more about Marvin Dog Media, visit www.marvindogmedia.com. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below to let YouTube know that you like what I'm making. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you get updates to future content. Wait, eh, eh, eh. <laughs>